Okay, so we got the blow off valve yesterday, and well, we didn't get it yesterday. We got it like what five days ago it was. We got it like Friday. Okay, we got it Friday. We was waiting on this to show up because this is mild steel, which means I could have welded it into our intake tube because we made it out of muffler tubing because that's all we had, and we didn't have a TIG weld or nothing. So I was gonna put it right there, like so, and it would have been perfect. I mean, beautiful, but. This was not the right flange. This is the top side, not the bottom side, because it's supposed to have a recess. And this is where the O-ring goes on. So this didn't work. So we had to go see Care Fox and get him to TIG weld, aluminum TIG weld, the uh, blow-off valve to the turbo hat, which I know nobody would probably ever do this, but this is the only place we had to put it. So it's on there and there you go. So me and Colin Berth learned how to TIG weld yesterday. TIG weld aluminum and carry TIG welded that for us. TIG welded on, good to go. We're going to test it. So, mm -hmm. That's the plan. And also figured out how to plumb the boost controller. So I will show you how to do the boost controller also. I just got to plumb this in. All right, before we hook the boost controller up, we're going to test the uh, blow off valve. And right here at the, at the in gear with idle it's kind of opening and closing it's kind of fluctuating there we'll see what it does there it went yeah what was that of course it's opening and closing, causing fluctuations like in the uh, vacuum signal. So which means it probably needs a stiffer spring put in it. Did a quick spring change. <clears throat> so, I'm going to see what this spring does. We may end up having to trim on it and cut it and tune it in like everything else we got to do. So, we'll just have to see. breaking up and breaking up turn the time it down is breaking up turn the time it up is breaking up just wrecking my brain here broke valve spring or a loose rocker would cause the same issue just ran the valves the valves are perfect sit down in there see the puddles of fuel she's getting too much too soon which is what's causing the backfire which is what's causing all the problems Okay, so, rebuilt the carburetor, went with bigger power valve restriction circuit, put a power valve in it after drilling out the uh, the check ball, the uh, ball bearing in there that keeps you from, when it backfires, keeps it from blowing the power valve out of it. I drilled that out, put a 6.5 power, put, put power valve in it, yeah, it's good, and uh, dropped the jets down on the primary side to 75s with the power valve. And then the secondary side went from 85s down to 77s to lean out the secondary side. So, what I was thinking is that the whole thing was going way too fat when he went wide open throttle with it. Which was causing it to bog and backfire because all the fuel not being burned up in the intake was backfiring up through the carburetor. So, leaning everything out, putting a power valve in it and all that stuff should make it better. Now, will it? We don't know. We're going to find out. It sounds a lot happier when you're free revving it. it. Sounds way happier. It ain't got that dead spot no more. So we'll see. The only way to know is to test it. All right. Well, rebuild carburetor. We're gonna try this. See what it does. Got to go down here and get fuel. Yeah. 
gonna see what it does. Yeah! <laughs> we got it! <laughs> and it, it's 160 consistent. Good. The more, the, no, the more fuel pressure is a lot better. Yeah. Want me to launch it right here? I wish I could get out. Back in here? Yeah. I wonder if I can film the tires. I got to stop up there. So. Yeah. Well, I don't want that to slide around. Well, I rejetted the carburetor, reset the timing, uh, bumped the fuel pressure up, and so far it's doing amazing. Well, changed the carburetor around, went with 77 primary. Drilled the meter and plate played out to 76 thousandths, put a 6.5 power valve in it, took the uh, uh, blowback protection out of it, you know, to protect the power valve in case it backfires, there's a little check ball. Took that out, drilled the uh, power valve restriction circuits out to 70, what did I say, 76 thousandths? I think. 76 thousandths. Point zero seven six is what I drilled them out to. Put a 6.5 power valve in it, 77 jet. Secondary side is an 84, which it may need to be a little fatter on the secondary side. I may need to step up to 80, 86, see what that does. But secondary side's 84, and he's going to get a uh, boost retard box to take time it out as boost comes in. One, two, three degrees, whatever we need. But that is by far the best it's ever run. Yeah. It's it's awesome. Mm -hmm. It is awesome. We turn. Oh, yeah, we're going to put a 480 in it because a 586, it's up at like 6,000 instantly. I mean, like instant. Yeah. So. Put a 480 in it, calm it down just a little bit. It'll probably 60 foot amazing. It'll probably just be amazing all the yeah. way through. And we turn the. We'll go 48 first and then step down. Yeah. Plus, the gear will help put load on it and help it build boost. So, and we turn the fuel pressure. We had the fuel pressure at six, and we realized while well, I was watching videos in slow mo and realized that. The boost gauge red boost before the fuel pressure increased. So we replumbed everything to go straight shot to the fuel pressure regulator and then tee off to the boost and turn the fuel pressure from six up to eight because these bypass style fuel fuel regulators, they actually, if you set them at six PSI, they're actually going to be a little bit lower than that at wide open throttle because of the flow. I read that on, I forgot what it was called, um, like a fuel, what was that fancy fuel place? Does all them expensive carburetors and stuff? I don't know. Which ones? I don't know. There's so many of them. It was like a few. It was like Fuel Lab or something like that. That's what it was. And I was reading on that, and it was saying that uh, you got to set them a little higher because if they say six, they're actually probably two or three uh, psi lower than that at wide open throttle. So we set it to eight, so the carburetor would be at six right when he flat footed and so far it's worked amazing everything's working you can cruise along and flat foot it now no stumble no hesitation it just screams mm -hmm. so so good we're content now we're just going to change gear well, I tell you, I said, he'll just, he, I said, Colton, you will not be able to drive it so much on the street because it's, it's like a straight drive. It's got that spot where it's just like, yeah, whip. I said, you'll never be able to. I said, you'll get a ticket, sure as hell. Nah, we'll see. It's so much of help. He'll be a terror. Yeah. He can't keep his foot out of it. Just be careful whopping him, folks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah be yeah. weary. You get a whop back with that some <laughs> I used to mean shit around. Think nothing around here like this. No, pump gas, baby. Yeah, pump 93. Gas. Yeah, cheap shit. 93. <laughs> I got to pause the camera while I get another chip and put it in there, but that's. We'll just see how it runs. For the first time. Yeah, it turns the numbers on. That's the way it'll tell the tale. Yeah, exactly. But for the first time, I feel good about it now. 48 in there, Bar Street Dino. It'll probably run better. Oh, it'll be weak. All right, then. I'm a stank. I'm a Now, Dad is glassing up the front end. Right from the nose piece to the metal. Right. And we were debating on whether wrapping it around the grill to make it extra strong, which I think we probably should. He's right. Tune the truck in. Put the velocity stacks on the truck. Tune the truck in. Now I'm fixing our massive exhaust leak that we've had since day one. 
right there. So, it might take us up the road. Just go do burnouts with street tires, just for fun. All right, so we got the body line that points up at the sky field in. And Dad got all this glassed in. And this side and all this is going to need some serious sanding. <laughs> yeah, it's over here. Done the cloth, but over here we run out of cloth, so I had some mat, done an old shit mat. I put that over here, so I'll put cloth over here. Yeah, that mat sucks. It's a pain in the ass because it's like cat fur. It fucking shit get all over you. We'll sand all that down and get some Bondo and body filler and fill it in. Just, that just covers the big spots. We'll get rid of the body line. We might get rid of it all the way down to S10. I don't know. Just make it smooth. I've never seen an S10 without the body line. Be interesting to see. One of a kind. Look at all that. Then we did a kill switch back here. The way to do that so it works is you separate the ground. It comes out, ground goes in, comes back out, and it grounds to the frame. If it ain't ground, you get no voltage. So you separate the ground, it kills all the ignition and everything. And Colton does battery hold down. Yep. Which is so complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so anyway, day St. Patrick's Day, I believe. If you think Betty Day, you better have your green on somebody pinch you. I ain't got green nothing. Oh, you're going to be sick. You're going to be sick. This shit won't even start. Yeah, it will. He's having to hook a battery up and everything else. Why do you want to go up under and dampen my damn show? You glory hog, that's why. He glory hog my show in but St. Patrick's Day and the sun's out it's about 60 degrees. It's nice out there. It's nice. First nice day we've had in a long time. I better so. take a Sandberg kick at Nash one time. I mean, yeah. it didn't run this whole damn winter much. Except for the tour run. Yeah, that's about it. Got it dirty as shit on tour run. I need to wash it. And just play with it. It's dirty. We got the breathers on on the velocity stacks. Yeah, Hopefully the they don't choke too much. I put the velocity stacks back on that big old hill and I just don't like that thing. It's a pain in the ass to take on all It really is. You can't tell if the carburetor's flooding or they loading up or what's going on. I just don't like it. I'm a velocity stack man. I hear it. There it is. 355 with 11.81 to 1 compression static and here comes twin turbo s10 and a 4 11 gear yeah it's hit 586 with slick yeah i made a traction disadvantage right out of a damn hole <laughs> and wheel hop central yeah i got a wheel hop his goes straight this some bitch here i might hit him in the door it's now quiet that thing is oh it's i know civilized sneaky beer. yeah Okay, so about two weeks later, after everybody's over the flu. Except for me, I never got yeah, it. People, sick people, we were sick people. Yeah, and after Dad shaved his beard off and has a mustache now. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Wilson over here. Feel free to make jokes. <laughs> it's about to grow back, though. I'm growing it back, but I've been called all kinds of stuff. Tom Selleck, Porn Star. Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. 
<laughs> you still got a little bit of cough. Anything you can think of, but I ain't gonna cut it off tomorrow. I'll put everybody in a damn <laughs> whirlwind. It's funny. So funny. But I was sick, old. You, when you're sick, don't cut your shit, because I cut it crooked as I totally fucked it up, so I had to cut it. <laughs> um, but so we come out here and we cut the we cut the fit front end back separated because it was all molded in one piece and we did that so we'd have a nice narrow gap all the way around so now we're sanding and filling and smoothing that's what's happening here what bolt and ball the msd boost timing controller so that we can pull retard we can retard the timing as the boost comes in you can go from one two to three degrees depending on the pound of boost so and you can adjust it to where it comes in so you can start pulling timing at three pounds or five pounds or wherever you want so we're fixing to wire that in here and that way he can run his timing where it's at locked out so it's got plenty of bottom in and then as boost comes in it pulls timing out and no more detonation it's yeah it's a super nice unit expensive unit but nice later on we might just make one out of aluminum yeah we need to but not that important right now. But here's the boost timing master thing. Brand new in the box. This is not used junk like we're used to. He bought this one new. Oh, and there's an on off switch we put in. See right there? Boost timing master. With all your doodads and your little dial, you switch it to take the timing out. It's got a port for your boost to run into. See right there? It's got a dial that tells you at what point you want it to start taking timing out. Right now it's set to two. It'll probably start taking timing at about three. Three pound of boost. So, fix the wire it in. Come with the destructions and everything. So. Whatever Colton gets out of there, I'll climb in and start wiring. All right, here is the wiring for that box. I got her wired in there. And everything tucked up, looking halfway decent. I need to pull these rest of the wires. Like yeah, but I got to make a hole for them. But it's all wired in. Just like it says the wire right there. Because it's a mag pickup distributor. Nice. And this hat. She gave me this hat for my car. Yeah, <laughs> my car. Memo had that for her Monte Carlo. So cool kind of shit going on today. <laughs> Hat's been wadded up a few years. It's all right. It's all good. Yeah, um, that's wired. I'm gonna start this thing here in a few minutes and that's where I mounted this selector switch. Mounted it right there and we'll start it and make sure it still fires. We kept all those top secret. Everybody's getting kind of antsy in those videos but we got to read. Yeah, I know. People want these videos. But I got stuff for the 64 y'all can watch. There's always a read. All right, with this thing, if you're running a uh, points or something like that you don't have to cut this but with a mag pickup like all MSD distributors are oh well not all of them but most of them you gotta cut that and I didn't cut it so it didn't spark so I should be able to cut that and then jump my mag pickup here with a wire jumper wire and it should spark the spark plug that's laying right there yep. so I'm gonna cut it it says to cut it so I'm gonna cut it all right so Colt made his first piece out of aluminum and there it is, intake tube. Had to do a little bit of a grinding with a flapper because he had to fill a bunch of big, big cracks and holes, but he got it done. And now it's on here, so this should dissipate heat a lot better. Way better than the exhaust tubing that we was using. So, it looks good. Looks good enough for what we're doing. What? So it looks good enough for what we're doing. Yeah. So sweet. I was going to fire it up and test it, make sure it's no leaks, which we did a light test and pressure test on it, it was fine, so should be alright. 
And we're pulling the headers back off because it just keeps, like, the header bolts keep getting loose and blowing header gaskets out, so fixing that. But it's so weird, right out of the hole this thing is in terror. And then when he goes into second, he's shifting about six. And that's where it breaks up. It ain't the box, it ain't the timing. So, I think carburetor. Flared down. We got hard line now instead of this little soft rubber stuff that could have been collapsing. We're gonna see if this makes a difference. If it cleans it up up high. Yeah. Fine tuning. Why well, you said. Exactly. Exactly. We just out here having a damn good time. I know. Sun's, Sun's out, out 70 more. degrees, living it up. Yeah. Made these. This is what size line was this? This is a quarter, wasn't it? That quarter, quarter, inch copper. quarter copper. Now I don't know if it's quarter. Is it quarter or ID? I think so. I don't know. Quarter ID when you cut it, again you deburr it, it fits super super tight. You gotta kind of massage it on and push it down. It was me. Yeah, exactly. But we're gonna test this and see what Alright, so we're trying it with the vent tube extensions. It's hard line now, not tiny little rubber uh, line. We turn the timing box all the way back down to zero so it's got full advance. And we're gonna see what it does, see if it breaks up up high still. If it does, I'll come back and start stepping jets up and see if it gets worse. Or build another carburetor to put on it. freaking thing. <laughs> it is flawless now. <laughs> Dude, this thing freaking flies. Oh, I know. Why do you put a 488 in it? Yes. That's with no time retard or nothing. Yeah. Yeah. What's 
in the second and it just blows the tires off yeah. and it starts walking. Yeah. Let's <laughs> tell don't fuck around. <laughs> It run good last time I rode in. It's stronger now. That's a bitch of beauty. They can just put around on plain old fuel. Gosh, I'm so happy. So Dad liked the ride along. <laughs> it's still got the 586 in it. We put a 488 in it. It ought to, it ought to scream. <laughs>